Welcome! Welcome to your favorite Tennessee Titans podcast, Tennessee Titans Weekly, Jacques Hawk! Jacques Hawk! Congratulations, Tennessee Titans. Good job on the win. Break the curse. <laughs> we did, bro. We did, man. We did, man. Tighten up. Tighten up, bro. Hey. Hey, man, look. Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. You know what I had for Thanksgiving? It was really good this year. I mean, I usually don't have. You know, we all have turkey, ham, macaroni and cheese. Down south, we like turnip greens, collard mm-hmm. greens. Mm-hmm. I had some coke meat. You had some coke meat. Man, that coke meat was so hey, good. It was tasty, bro. Man, it was. <laughs> it was some hot sauce in that thing. Man, it was hey, so it, it, man, it was so good, it bro. It was tasty, bro. Yeah. Man, it, it was a good win. It was, bro. It was a, it it was was. a good, fashionable win where it I was. wanted them to... Take the hold of the game and, and put your foot on their neck yeah. and beat the brakes off of them. Yeah, man. And y'all did a good job, man. They did. They, they did. They, they, they did. They would say, hey, we didn't have T.Y. Hilton. We didn't have Marlon Mack. We didn't have Eric Ebron. Right. That's fine. That's we, fine. we don't have uh, Butler. Yeah. We, we, we've depleted in our secondary. Dory Jackson got hurt. Dory Jackson got hurt. Yep. So it's an even, 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 even kill game. It is. We just, that one team just took over the, 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 the game. And the bet, to me, in my opinion, the better team on paper. Yep. Took over and knew that they were the better team on paper. That's and it was right. a, it was a good win for them to go into Indy where you've had the plagues and your and your and your losing streaks. Yeah. And to come in and win like you did yep. was very, very good confident boost. It is, it is. And man. I loved it. And I and I was sitting there watching, I was like, Okay, first half's a little shaky. Yep. But if you look at history and you go and look at the previous games, the second half seems to be the bar- the breakout half for us. I mean, exactly. It's the right time to do it versus the wrong time to do it. But. That's right, bro. That's right. And the Tennessee Titans since uh, 2007 have only won three games in Indianapolis. That That's is unbelievable. Ridiculous, That's dude. unbelievable. And 12, I mean, well, wow. six, six or seven of those at home was Andrew Luck. Andrew that was right. a big portion of it. Right. You know, I don't know if we, we can't beat the Colts. We just couldn't beat Luck. But, right. you know, we had struggles with Peyton Manning, too. Let's not, let's not get it twisted. Right. But, you know, for us to go, go into Indy, and, and he's been in Indianapolis games mm-hmm. against the Titans. I've been to the Indianapolis uh, at the stadium versus the Titans as well. Right. All them games was losses for us. Mm-hmm. And so that's what we used to do in Indiana. We go to Indianapolis, we lose, lose football right. games. Right. But we didn't yesterday. No, we, we didn't, we didn't, we, man. We, we, we took a turn. But, we did, we did. But you know the reason. Uh, think about it. These four years, five years, yep. the Indianapolis has been used to seeing who? Mario did Absolutely, bro. You know Absolutely. Absolutely. Next thing you know, you throw a Tannehill at the hand. In the yep. You're like, okay, hold on. This is a different type of it is. quarterback. And game. an improved Derrick Henry. And an improved, way improved Derrick Henry. I think yes, he was sir. one of the first running backs to get a gain of 100 yards against yeah. the Colts since when? Yes, yeah, since last year. That's been Test. a span of... Crazy. 20-something games? That's, that's, unbelievable. that's unbelievable. The it, Colts have done a great job in run defense all, all year and even year. last year. And that hurts them because they were right there in that playoff. That right. Playoff it, does, it does. It does, man. Them back down. It does. It does. It and, does. And you know, I don't know who they play next, but if it's a prime time, whoo, then yeah. that bumps you back down again. It does, man. You see what I'm saying? Because it, it, they got to go back and try to regroup and figure it out. Yeah. But, right. I mean, it feels good to actually it really, it really, win. And we're 5-1 over the last six games. man. Look. I'm not taking that for granted. A lot of times fans, Titans fans, all fans in the NFL, when we lose, man, we just just down on them, right? right. Not now. Like, man, well, you win? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, celebrate. Sure. Clap. Be glad that your team is winning football games because it's very difficult to win football games in, in the, the NFL. NFL right. And so think about Marcus Mariota being out. Who would have thought – at that time, okay, we're about to win six, five out of the next six games. Mm-hmm. Who would have thought that? Mm-hmm. We would have said that at our show. Look, Ryan Tannehill's not in the game. Now in the game, we're going to win five out of six games. Right. No one thought that. Nobody did. Nobody did. We, saw, we saw on Instagram uh, in the preseason, I think it was on NFL Network, they had the Titans going 3-13. Yeah, yeah. You know what and, I'm saying? I think everybody's seen that joker. Yes, right. It's a joker. Right, exactly. They had the Titans going 3-13. Three three and and they were saying, lost, lost, lost. Like, and I'm what? like, you pay this man to go in there and, and evaluate a team that he barely knows. Right, exactly. Exactly. So, so go in there and say, hey, we three and 13. I, like, if, if everybody spam him. <laughs> yeah, right. Spam right, him. Right. A- Adam Rank, I think. Adam, I think that's a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you yeah. know what I mean? So, uh, so you know, very proud of the Tennessee Titans, how they played, man, and, and you know, offense and on defense. It, a- awesome job. Yeah, even with, even with Tannehill. Something mm-hmm. I did see in preseason. Now, people say the preseason doesn't count. Okay, we get that. Yeah. But in preseason, you kind of get that work to trying to get in the game, get get your fillers in, hey, get you some 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 reps in. Mm-hmm. When I seen Tannehill playing in preseason, you remember what I told you? I you said, did. Tannehill is out there slanging that thing, and he's and he's throwing it with some authority. Absolutely. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, he's with the tools. All right, yeah, that's the tools. You're going to need some tools. And he's looking, he's making throws that I'm not used to seeing here in Tennessee. I'm that's like, right. okay, he's that's right. He's darts, th- bullets, yeah. Here, I mean, impossible side. I'm like, okay, hold up. I said, then I'm looking at Mariota, and I'm like, huh. 
Mm-hmm. He struggles. He's still struggling in the in the preseason to yeah. drive the ball downfield. So it's just something. A, 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 Agreed. I think of thought. Just think agreed. About. Agreed. And, and on that same note, man, when we signed Ron Tannehill, I called you first thing. I was oh, like, did, bro, yeah. I was like, man, I think that's the best pickup we could have got, right? Mm-hmm. To yep. put fire under Mariota to see, see hey, if he, yep. if he falls, we got a security blanket. And he's exactly. been much more than And they were anticipating blanket. him getting hurt. Right. Right. Versus him getting benched. And I think I would have rather seen him kind of get hurt because I can kind of justify it then. Like, okay, well, he got hurt. That's the buddy does. Maybe we need to. Uh, 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 reevaluate him, give him another shot, but no, yeah. he got benched. Yeah, that's yeah. that's problem, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. So, so we're gonna go over, man, as to four reasons as to why the Tennessee Titans won this game, man. So break down your two, Jacques. My two. Yeah, that boy King Henry, man. He ran for 149 yards and a touchdown. Something that, like you iterated earlier, yes, the Colts haven't had a hundred yard rusher since last year. Yeah, that's remarkable. That's yeah. good defense. That is. So. And I've always said this, and you said this. You know Henry's your favorite player. (laughs) He is. And when Henry takes over games, we win games. Now, it's a team unit. It's a team. Everything is team, 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 team. You know, the quarterback is your your franchise. Yeah. But in the meantime, when you have a back like Henry, you have to get him going. And that that first half was a little shaky. He fumbled the ball, which he started to do a little bit more. People, teams, because he runs so high. That's what he does. Right. He has to learn how to tuck it in like a baby in high and tight, basically. But – I, my motto is how do you respond? Okay, we make a mistake. How do you respond? And how and, and as Fable said last week, hey Henry, go ahead and take this game over. Take the game over, which he did. And I'm thinking the same thing. Henry, when are you gonna take the game over? Yeah. And something that I haven't seen him be able, being able be able to do when we play the Colts is get a, a hundred yards or run with authority. And he ran with authority. He I did. Mean, he, he was did. dragging a, a money. Was it Hooker? Yeah, yeah. He with, did with yes. one hand. I was yeah, like Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker. He right. was grabbing. He, he was dragging did. with one he hand. He did. He's a McKinnon. I said, okay, yeah. That's how you run with authority. One hundred forty nine yards. You up there with Jim Brown and, and, and Eric Dickerson, yeah. dude. Henry, mark my words, he'll get him a two thousand yard season if he continues to. If they continue to stick with him, pay, yeah. first of all, pay the man. That's the right, pay the man. And next year man. he can get that two bill. Pay, for real, yeah. Pay the man. Yep. And if he gets 100 yards a game, 150 yards, he keeps running like he does, yeah. he can break that 2,000 yard yeah. uh, a season. Yeah. But that, that's that's one reason we won the game was Henry. Reason two, special teams, man, this year has been tremendous. Not from just Brent Kern, but from block punts. Yes, man. I mean, block field goals. Yeah, man. I mean, this is they, the Titans lead the league in block field goals. That's four. They had two in this game. Yeah, yeah. They had two in this game. Yep, yep. The one where you know Adam Vinatieri is struggling. I said, once that man. Break, once he kicked that ball, I said, oh, it's gonna be a long day for him. Yep. And then they blocked the second one. And then the most important one that got the spark going was the Crookshank and Ty Smith block. Right. Crookshank and the reason, and I'm gonna tell you, the reason how it happened was because they were double teaming uh, Kalua. So Kalua's on the end. If you go back and look at it. Mm-hmm. They already knew, okay, you can tell the Colts look at film. That's one thing I can't give credit to the Colts. They break down film very well because they sitting there, they broke that down. Okay, you don't only figure it out when you breaking down film. Okay, Clue right. is coming off the edge. And if you look at Clue, he, he snap count is perfect. Is there double teaming him? You leave that gap for Crookshank to run through. Yep. Crookshank ran through. Boom. That's the most. I mean, he could have grabbed the ball out of the, the, the air and took Absolutely. Off. Absolutely. Literally. Yeah. And it just perfect. just landed perfect. He passed to the tie and they were gone. That was the spark that sparked the rebellion, <laughs> that that put the spark in us. And all of a sudden, Tannehill comes down and throws a bomb to Khalif Raymond. That's how you do it. That's right. That's how you get a spark. We went in on all three cylinders, all three phases of the game, defense, offense, special teams. When did that many years pass when we went out for special teams? I know, man. Crickets. Yep, crickets. You hear crickets. Yep. John Special Robinson. teams is just always just minimal. It, so John Robinson is a genius. John Robinson, his motto is, hey, we can win on all four, three, three phases of the game. Yeah. Special teams is more way important. Then special teams is playing, up, playing a big part. Go back to Akern. When he's punting the ball, he's pinning them in the 10-yard line. Yep. In their five-yard line. So special teams, man, bravo, man. Yeah. Bravo, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, hey, man. Special teams, that's one reason why. What about you? So, I know we've gotten on the offensive line, and rightfully so. I think the, they themselves would say, well, yeah, we deserve that. Trash. We look at film, and we are trash. Mm-hmm. I still think they're trash when it comes to pass blocking. I still think there's – look, Ryan Tannehill got sacked six times. So, let's not act like Ryan Tannehill was standing upright the whole game. Mm-hmm. He was on the ground about 20% of the time. Right. But the run blocking, they're doing a great job, and they did an excellent job in run blocking on this game. The Indianapolis Colts is a very stingy defense. They have a lot of guys, a lot of no-name guys. 
I mean, the one guy that you might know is Darius Leonard. Uh, he had two sacks, actually. You know, you know, those guys, you know, they're okay. But they've stopped the run very well throughout. And the run blocking was great this game from the inside to the outside. Uh, allowed Derrick Henry to just go wild. I mean, Derrick Henry had a heck of a game. I mean, you know, he, he ran the football very well. And a lot of that was predicated upon the run blocking. So, again, I'm going to give the offensive line here what I'm saying. I'm going to give you guys credit for heck, having a heck of a game against the Colts mm -hmm. in the run game. You still got some opportunities in the passing game, but the run blocking was definitely there. So good job there. Second, I'm going to say Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill has come to this game, man, you know, being very consistent, though being sacked several times, even having a fumble. He's going to get a fumble. I, mean, I said that a while ago. He's going to get you a turnover, and that's mm -hmm. okay. That happens. But when you look at Ryan Tannehill, he was 17 for 22. He had 182 yards and two touchdowns. That might not just blow anybody off the socks, but if you watch the game, you see where he's being efficient. Mm -hmm. When he's asked to throw the football, he makes the throw. Ask Khalif Raymond. Mm -hmm. Ask A.J. Brown. Ask the guys. They, ask even Furster had a few catches. Humphreys. You know, Humphreys as well with the touchdown. So you have to look at Ryan Tannehill. And see, the Miami Dolphins, you know, when you look at it, it's like, man, why did they get rid of this guy? Well, Ryan Tannehill got paid a lot of money before they let him go, right? He, he was making a big contract for the last two years he was there with them. So they were expecting him to throw it 40 times based on the contract he was making. But if you look at it now, when he's throwing 25 times, that's the Ryan Tannehill we want. We don't want 40 to 45 times. So that's why they got rid of him and said, look, we can't pay him that much. He, he makes too much. We're going to get rid of him. So we have Tannehill right now at a bargain. You know, I know next year contracts are going to be talked about big time, but I think this is the Ryan Tannehill that we need. The 20 to 25 throws a game at 71%, man, two touchdowns. I'll give him a turnover. I'll give him that, man, because there's no perfect quarterback out there. Ryan Tannehill had a hell of a game against the Indianapolis Colts. That's what we've missed over the past several years is quarterback play, and that's the reason why we won the football game. I like it. Yeah, man. I like yeah. So, Hulk, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. MVPs in the game. Of course, for me, I'm going to say Derrick Henry. Okay. okay, I'm going to say, you know, 26 carries, 149 yards. Uh, that's well over almost six yards a carry and a touchdown. Uh, Derrick Henry was unstoppable. There's nothing they could do about it. It seemed like every carry he had was 10 yards, 8 mm -hmm. yards, 7 yards. I know he had his fumble. I get that. But he had 26 carries. Uh, Derrick Henry was unstoppable. I think the Colts towards the end of the game didn't even want to try to tackle this guy. And this, I'm noticing that over the past three or four games, as the game goes on, you see DB's kind of like, eh, I don't know about this, right. Joker. I don't know about this. And so Derrick Henry is getting some great opportunities. What's that allowing us to do is to throw the football. Mm -hmm. They got to respect 22. So that leaves us open to throw the football. Excellent job again to you, King Henry. Pay the man next year. Pay him. I'm telling you, pay the man. I'm, again, a huge fan. I've been for the past three years. I, for the longest time, I thought he was being underutilized. Now we're utilizing him, and he's balling, man. So what up for you, bro? Tannehill. Tannehill. Tannehill, 17-22, 182, two yep. touchdowns. Yes, sir. Dude, like, like you said, he's come in, and he's – what we have asked for him, he's been able to do. Like you just alliterated. Like he it iterated. He doesn't have to throw 50,000 times. Right. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? And, and going back to your point, he had a run game in Miami, but he didn't have a run game on running back like King Henry. That's right, brother. You see what I'm saying? Like you said, they, everybody has to respect the fact that Henry's there. I mean, he had. I mean, these these passes that he that he's throwing, I'm like, mm -hmm. wow, man. Yeah. I mean, he the one he had to Corey Davis, where Corey Davis bulldozed the the the, the uh, DB. The one that he had to AJ Brown, I'm like, wow. Yeah. He's putting him in spots where only the receivers can either. Catch the ball or drop the ball. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. He's not throwing that many interceptions. No. And everybody's saying, oh, he's a turnover machine. He fumbles. Yes, we know that. But the the the, the pass that he threw to Humphrey and how Humphrey came back, and, yeah. and, and I mean, that was perfect. And like we said, Indianapolis plays the most basic zone defense ever. 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 They play the most it's basic zone defense. Man, ever. If you, know, if you have a dart where you can pick it apart. Yes. You yes. see like, like I said, their defense underestimated. It's like, oh, we got Mario. No, we got Tannehill up here playing. Yeah, man. But when you got Tannehill playing like that, who can pick you apart, and it's a proven fact, yep. it gets a little scary. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He, and then the, the, don't, let's not forget the play action pass to Khalif Raymond. Man. That's two weeks in a row. Exactly. Well, two, it's, it's what going on two weeks in a two or three weeks in a row. Khalif has had a, a good long bomb yeah, to Khalif. Where he's, with a great route, too. With a great, man. The the rap, and like, that's another preseason guy that we seen in yes, preseason exactly. that was yeah, catching man. the balls and he and, was. Get, and and him and Tannehill. This is what I go back and tell you. Kareef was playing with the twos. Tannehill was playing with the twos. They got that chemistry. Yeah, that's right. So what happens when you got Henry out here balling? It allows Tannehill to ball. 
And when I see him uh, Sunday, Tannehill knew. He owns – because I, I think historically when they play the Dolphins, when Tannehill was playing, I think they do beat the Colts. Yeah. The Dolphins have the Colts number. So I kind of knew Tannehill's going to come here and ball on the Colts. That's just yeah. what it is. Yeah. Man. So okay. my MVP is Tannehill. Gotcha. So in that same breath, who surprised you? What player surprised you for the Tennessee Titans? Ty Smith. So a lot of people don't know about Ty Smith. Me and you, being Titans fans, we right. knew about Ty Smith three years ago. I, Ty Smith came on my radar when we played the Chiefs. And he did very well. Did. And we, I think, was that was that, was that the playoff playoff game? game. Was, he did. He very, was a whole another number too. Man, he did very well when he, he played the. The only thing that's, that's plaguing him right now is playing time. Right. He had no playing time. So for him, what if we, what he was asked for? The first half was a little shaky because you know, I mean you getting your feet wet. You haven't had playing time with the ones. You out there playing. You go. You got having a guard Pascal. Okay, we get it. Second half, I mean the clampdown came down. He did. And then he had to play the game. Block, boom, scoop, run, touchdown. Yep. So, me, me Ty, Ty Smith, what about you? I'm going to say Kareem Orr. Oh. Um, you know, you guys might not know uh, Kareem Orr, uh, but he was out on the field. Uh, mm. Kareem oh. Orr led the team in tackles. Mm -hmm. He had eight solo tackles. Not no assist. And he had eight. <laughs> now, some people might, could, you know, he's a corner. Right. So, if you get eight tackles, that means the receivers, you know, catching a lot of footballs mm -hmm. in front of you. And Pascal... <laughs> The former Tennessee Titan did have a heck of a game. He uh, Pascal he had 109 yards receiving on seven like catches, right? Like who's doing? He was, he was. Mm -hmm. But Kevin Orr, you know, hey, he held his own. Uh, you got to understand Kevin Orr. I mean, Kareem Orr hasn't played much, right. uh, but Orr was out on the field. He was making plays. Uh, Kareem Orr again led the team in tackles. So what else can you ask for, man? So great job to Kareem Orr. Mm -hmm. He was my surprise player, man. So in the same breath, what concerns yeah. you? Oh, I have concerns, man. Oh, I got concerns, bro. <laughs> I mean, we won this football game. There's some holes. Okay. I, hey, we can be hype as much as we want, okay? But there's some holes. First, injuries, oh, okay? Now, over you know over the first, first few games, first like eight or nine games, the Tennessee Titans was a top five, then top ten defense mm -hmm. because we were bending but not breaking, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we only gave up 17 points to the Colts, and, but the Colts are not a fiery offense. I'm not mm -hmm. even, worried, I'm even worried about that. I wouldn't worry about them scoring even though they had a pretty good rush, they were number four in rushing offense. I was shocked when I heard that because Brissett runs pretty well, too. Right, right. But, you know, Adore Jackson got hurt. I'm not sure of his availability for the next game. Malcolm Butler uh, is hurt out for the season. Uh, you're two starting corners. I mean, you know, so you have to look at, like, I mean, we got Logan Ryan as the other corner as well, but Adore Jackson gets starter minutes. You got to look at, like, man, like, we got... You know, even LaShawn Sims, the second stringer, is hurt. So we have a lot of injuries. Delaney Walker, not to mention, is hurt. So, Cameron you know, Wade. yep, Cameron Waite, out for the season. Good point, right? Marcus Mariota's hurt. Like, we have a lot of injuries. So you have to look at, like, okay, even Taylor Wan at times gets nicked up. So injuries are starting to play a bit of a factor with other players that are third. We had four stringers out there. We had guys playing long snapper, playing middle linebacker out there. That's how bad it had become for us. So... Injuries are becoming to be a concern, especially in the defensive backfield. And we need all of our soldiers to play because we got the Chiefs. I mean, not the Chiefs, the Saints and the Texans who throw the football. And we better be ready. So what about for you, man? Man, me is the defense. Okay. So the defense concerns me to the fact that, like you, you reiterated earlier. Yes, sir. We were a top five, top ten defense at the beginning of the season. But what you're starting to see is it's a scale. All right. Offense was down here, defense up here. All of a sudden, that scale is starting to tip a little bit. But well, offense is up here, and defense is having to catch up. Yeah. So what you what you're having to do now? We have we have an offense now that can put up points, something that we didn't have at the beginning of the season. That's right. But now your defense is starting to scale back because of the injuries. And when you had the defense, and what I seen in the first half, they the 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 Colts were moving. I mean, they were passing the ball, not so much running, but they they were slanging it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. I said, all right, Logan, you can't do it by yourself, Dory. We we need you, bro. And he gets hurt. I'm like, oh man, my, my heart sinks. Cause I'm like, all right, next man up, what do we got? And the play then what's plaguing the young DBs is they had no PT time. Right. So once they get more experience, then you can start scheming and just putting them in ways that they fit into the defense. But right now, the way the scale is tipping, like you said, we got the Texans. We got Deshaun Watson. You got uh D Hop, you got uh, Fuller, you have uh Kenny Steels, you you have a high powered offense with speed. Man. But but but, 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 it's a big but. We were able to beat the Chiefs with that same speed. Mm -hmm. I think a little bit faster right. with, with mediocre DB. So the defense concerns me to the fact where if we can get on the same level on the same page, oh, this is a dangerous team. This is a scary team. Mm -hmm. It's a scary team. But once your defense starts slacking a little bit, then we have offense that can pick it up. But the defense concerns me 
A little bit, man, yep. because like we in pass rush, I didn't mean to mention pass rush. Yeah, man, good we, point. Pa- pass rush, we we we're so inconsistent with pass rush. Do you, okay, no pressure. All of a sudden, sack. I'm like, <laughs> no pressure, sack. Right, I'm right. Like, I'm like, what? I'm That's like, hilarious. I'm like, we can't get no consistency going here. Harold Landry gets a sack, and all of a sudden, uh, Casey gets a sack. I'm like. Dude, like, what's going on? Like, is it technique? Is it how you play? And I, and I, I noticed a little something. We talk about Keith Carter. We need to start looking at our defensive line coach too, because it's not getting no penetration. I mean, you could it, Harold Landry's covering it up, right? Yeah. But I mean, I'm looking at like their, their technique and getting their hands. And there's there's you know a defensive lineman. I didn't play defensive line, but I know that's tricks to this hand movement. I mean, right. you got defensive lineman in box, so. That concerns me, dog. Yeah, that concerns yeah, me. Concerned. I'm and nervous. by the way, Mariota got benched. Not hurt. Right. That, that's true. That's true. That's true. I'm tripping. You're right. You're right about it. But he's been hurt so many times in different, in different ways. Hurt. It makes right. you think he's hurt. Right. Right. No, you're right. That's right. that. You're 100 percent correct. Right. That's right. So yeah. So so we did have a YouTuber uh, to ask a question. You know, as yeah. we mentioned earlier, we would like to take some. You know, we'll take a question of the day, and we felt this question was a very good question. So this guy's name is Matthew Parker. He asked, so a month after uh, this is a month after Tannehill has started, what's your take on him? So Joe, what's your take on so, him, bro? He's five and one, okay? Yeah. He's five and one. Winning now, football ma- games. Winning football games. Imagine if Tannehill was uh, uh, at the beginning of the season. Not saying you supposed to do that because of course we did it. We bought him in for insurance. Right. We bought him in to put some fire on the Tannehill. I mean Mar- Mariota. But just imagine, just imagine when we played the Bills and we needed a touchdown. Yep. Just imagine we played the Broncos when you did a touchdown. Right? Yep. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Teddy Hill has, has proven to me that I believe in second chances. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you see Alex Smith go through this. When he left the 49ers, he wasn't good when he was with the 49ers. We got That's some right. chief. Man, where did this Alex Smith come from? It's a system thing. When you put in the right situation, the right system, you tend to blossom. Right. What you said earlier, which is a genius point. Tannehill doesn't have to throw 50 times. No. You got a running back and Derrick Henry who's going to get you your 150. He's, he's running as much as Tannehill's throwing. I mean, that passing yards and running yards. It is. It's, it's, exactly. it's about the same. About the same. That's right. So what, what Tannehill provides <laughs> is that long strike ability. If you notice, most majority of his plays have been long strikes, dog. Right. Yep. I mean, these big strike abilities and big play abilities that we haven't had and we haven't seen. Yeah, man. We've seen them in spurts from Mariota. We've like, okay. He got a big play, yo, then he messes up. Right. Tannehill's consistent with it, man. I mean, and at the right time, too. Yeah, man. At yeah. the right time. What yeah. about you? Well, you know, you have to look at, you know, Tannehill, you have to look at, we've been averaging 29 points a game since he's been at the helm. Man, that's... Marcus Mariota has played six games. Ryan Tannehill has played six games, Dang. right? Mm-hmm. So you have to look at, we're 5-1 and one with him, mm-hmm. right? You would look at uh, Marcus Mariota. We were two and four. Okay, that's a heck of a difference. Heck of a difference. And if we break down stats, I have to show you guys on paper just the differences between touchdowns, interceptions. Uh, you know, interception rates about kind of similar. Uh, but you know, Ryan Tannehill has outscored him as far as touchdowns in those six games. Uh, you look at yards per uh, per throw; it's better. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. He's pretty much better in every category. And the biggest one is the win column. Win column. So you know, Ryan Tannehill has come here. It shocked the world, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, I don't think anyone expected him to come in balling like this. Mm-mm. And as we've mentioned, Ryan Tannehill for his career has had several mm-hmm. seasons, several seasons of 4,000 yards. Mm-hmm. You don't wake up in the morning throwing 4,000 yards. Mm-hmm. So he knows how to throw the ball. He's a, and then another thing, he's not a bum. He's a first-round pick. Yes. We got a first-round pick for $2 million. Mm-hmm. Miami Dolphins are still paying this guy. Mm-hmm. For the most part, right? And, and for what we traded him for was a, a for fourth round pick. Yeah, Man, that's a heck of that's a win. That's a win for the Titans. Mm-hmm. So my take on Tannehill, hey, I'm very proud of him. We need to look at signing him next year. That's all about and, and you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Ryan Tannehill is doing his thing. And if it wasn't for Tannehill, we would not be in the spot that we are right now. I agree. Yeah, I man. agree. And I like you said, go back to your signing. Mm-hmm. Might have to franchise tag him because we got several people we gotta pay. Right. But you gotta sign him. I mean, right, you gotta, you gotta sign him. You gotta, you gotta sign him. Gotta sign him. So yep. So he also spoke about Mariota still has gas in the tank, and he feels like if he was in a better system, he'd be he'd be better. And thanks for the question, Matthew Parker. Right. Good question. Do you think that? So, if you go back and look at Mariota in Oregon, okay, and I, and I, well, obviously you've heard me say this before. Yeah. He's a he's a quick thinker. He's a very quick quarterback where he gets the ball out so fast. 
when you kind of slow it down from him, for him, he has to think. When he was at Oregon, man, I mean, it, they had, I mean, they had a track team for offense. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So when you put him with speed, sort of like Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson gets to run that 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 read option type of, of mm-hmm. offense where yeah. uh, nine times six, I'm gonna run. That's what Mariota likes to do in the first place is run. But they try to change his game by trying to make him into a pocket passer. That's not his game. Right. His game is hey. I'm going to go through my reads, my two, three reads, and I'm going to take off. And if you let him play his game, then all of a sudden it's going to open up for him. I'm going to tell you something the Ravens did, and I heard this. Harbaugh went out and he did his homework. He did his analytics. He talked to a bunch of college coaches. He's like, hey, I want to take Lamar Jackson's game from college and I want to try to implement it to the NFL. It's worked. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If the Titans coach had a brain, they would have did the same thing to the point where, hey, how can we make and build a team around you to the point where we're going to make you strong and we're going to let you play your game and we're going to let you win off your game? You see what I'm saying? Now, people argue, well, it's a throwing league. Lamar Jackson is breaking that, that, that stigma. Michael Vick broke that stigma. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The Ravens, are, man, are, are such they, – they're playing at a such high rate, dude. They can go to the Super Bowl and win it. And that, to me, that'll be the first time I've ever seen a, a, a running quarterback just like Lamar Jackson who runs first, throws second. And it's on pace for almost 1,000 yards, running, win a Super Bowl. So, if you put him in the right system, maybe. But right now, his confidence, he has to build his confidence back up. Mm-hmm. He's, that injury messed his, his psyche it up. It did, it did. And, and, and if, I, if I can place him with a team that I can be like, well, he can get his confidence up, that has a good team around him, maybe the Ravens. Because of they have the team around him, and, he, and, and you can put him in a system that he thrives. Yeah. Ravens. Um, somewhere where he doesn't have to work too hard. What about you? <laughs> so, when I was speaking of injuries, man, okay, you got to look at Marcus Mariota as you advise about the injury he suffered against the Jags when he broke his leg. Since that game, Mariota's psyche has been gone. So, for the most part, Mariota has been sort of hurt this year because his psyche is <laughs> messed up right now, right? That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? That and is so a good it point. Is, it is. That is that's, why, that's why he was benched. Man, that's a good he point. Was, seriously. That, that's a good point. So, you got to look at Mariota like, man, we're Mariota fans. I'm not a Mariota hater right. at all. Like, I want him to succeed. I was excited when we drafted him. I was mm-hmm. like, man, that's, that's what I'm talking it about. It brought the energy back. It did. It did. And, and he had plenty of games where he balled out. Right. Mariota's second year was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. We were like... First in the history of the NFL in red zone red offense. Zone, you know dude, what I'm saying? He was because a beast. of him. He had like 22 touchdowns and one interception. I'm in blaming it on his psyche, dog. Right, it's his psyche. So I think for Mariota, is there a team for him, a system? I don't think so, man. Okay. Uh, unless we, you know, take the clock back before he hurt his leg or we take him back to, to, to Eugene, Oregon. Right. I don't think there's a team in the NFL that would fit a system for him to be a starting quarterback and be effective. He is an NFL quarterback. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's to say, could he be successful in a system? Yes, you might think with like an Andy Reid, Kansas City, or even Baltimore, even New England, teams that get the ball out quick like he did at Oregon. Right. But you know what I'm saying? But, you know, Mariota's not the same guy right at the moment. Mm-hmm. I don't know something – he might have to move to another team to build that confidence. Or he has to kind of think of it and, and be like, I'm on the bench now looking at Tannehill. Like, okay, like Tannehill to do, like – I'm just sitting back in reserve and kind of figure out what I need to do if I get that chance, right? right. As of right now, I just I don't see a team for him at the moment uh, to be like a starter. Maybe as a backup, but not as a starter, not at this oh, moment. Yeah, he backup. needs more time. You know that, what I'm saying? That, and that's what I mean with the Ravens. Mm-hmm. Put him as a backup, like RG3. Right. RG3 is a backup. He's never yeah. going to start in the NFL again. Right, right. Unless, unless Lamar Jackson goes down. Yeah. But it puts a, puts a team around him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. yeah, man. So. Yeah. so, ladies and gentlemen, that ends our show. Yes, sir. As always, look. We truly appreciate it, man. Really Excuse good. me for burping, man, because I just had, again, that cult meat I had before the show was so good, man. Put some hot sauce on that thing, man. Yeah. Some of that Titan sauce. Mm-hmm. It was great, man. So uh, you can, again, always, uh, you know, we, again, we truly appreciate everybody watching our show and subscribing, man. And remember, like, share, subscribe. I tell you, share with your auntie, uncle, granddaddy, dog, cat, anybody, man. And shout out to the fans that we're meeting out. out Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yes. it's awesome, man. It is it's awesome. awesome. It is awesome. And don't, don't hesitate to come talk to us, man. We yep. solid dudes. So yep. Come chop it up with us about the game. That's and, right. And, and it was a pleasure to be at the game with my boy. And, and, exactly. And, and, and just, just being there with the energy. But, man, hey, tighten up, man. Tighten up, man. Tighten. If you want to contact us, you can email us at TennesseeTitansWeekly at gmail.com. As well on Twitter at Titans Weekly 24-7 or on Instagram at Tennessee Titans Weekly, man. So to you and yours, we are out.
We got a few more games left to try to make this playoff run. Let's go. Take it one game at a time. That's right. One and oh. Yep. Let's get to two and oh. That's right, sir. That's right. So we'll see y'all next time, folks. We yes, out. sir.